You want to wash and rinse five pounds of apples. You want to slice your apples up. Make sure you take the seeds and stems out. All right, we got a brew bag. Get you one of these off eBay or from your brew store. They're the shit. We're gonna put our apples in that bag. Then we're gonna put them in there with five gallons of spring water, five pounds of sugar. We're gonna heat it up till the sugar dissolves. It's got a false bottom in it also. This this is still it's an all-in-one. You could ferment in it and brew in it. Now we're gonna add five pounds of sugar, let it dissolve. We got a propane tank ran to it. We're gonna heat it up. All right, once your water starts to heat up, you wanna add your sugar. Five pounds of sugar. You wanna stir it in. You want to keep it stirred we cut the heat off had about going about 45 minutes had the heat on low you don't really have to do this we just do it extra step we want to break those sugars out of that them apples make it easier for the yeast to work and get that flavor in there Fuck your mama, bitch. All right, that cooled down. Now you want to add your yeast. Add about between 10 and 20 grams. 10's the, the minimum amount. I'd say that's about good right there. This is the yeast we use. Now you want to seal it. And let it sit for about 14 days and then we're going to distill it we're going to stir it up of course you want to stir it up and let it sit for at least 14 days once our apples ferment for about two weeks about 14 days we're going to distill them. If you need to know how to set up a still, I got a, another video. Check out my, uh, check my channel out. You'll find it on how to set the still up. We got heads coming out. You want to get rid of the first 250 to 300 milliliters. Well, this smells like apples. It's apple liquor. All right, we got our first jar of hearts. Ready to pull it off and put another one on there. We're gonna see how. We're gonna see what the proof is of this. Coming up about a hundred proof. All right, I ended up with three three quarts out of that pot. It's a five gallon pot, and I quit running it after it got down to fifty. First one was 100 proof, second one was 80 proof, third one was 50 proof, and then I cut it off. But uh, you can make moonshine out of anything. You don't have to use corn. People always use corn because it's so cheap. You can use apples, you can use anything, any type of sugary fruit, anything that produces sugar. You can do it with just sugar, it's called sugar shine. I'll do a video on it, but let's taste this shit. Tastes 
like regular old moonshine. You might get a little hint of the apple afterwards. You don't get it right at first. That's good. That's good shit. Might use apples more often. Check out our other videos, bitch.